Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, it is step two of the Azure Kubernetes workshop. We have covered introduction, I've told you, I've showed you how to deploy an AKS cluster, connect to it, connect a namespace, see the nodes. And in the step two, we will create a private Azure container registry. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So this is where we left. We were able to create the resources, right? And if I show you, this is where we left. So in this video, we will have to create the Azure container registry. So the software development and uh, the operations team have made the decision to containerize all newly deployed applications or every application that they will develop. So containerized application provides the teams with mutual benefits. It provides the ease of managing hosting environments, guarantee of uh, container team software delivery, efficient use of server hardware, portability of application between environments. So in this video, we will create a container registry by using Azure CLI. We will build container images by using Azure uh, container registry task. We will verify the container images in ACR, that is Azure container registry. And we will configure an AKS cluster to authenticate to ACR. So what exactly is a container registry? Azure container registry is a managed Docker registry service based on an open source Docker registry. Container registry is private and hosted in Azure. We use it to build, store, and manage images for all types of container deployment. Container images can be pushed and pulled with container registry by using the Docker CLI or the Azure CLI. We can use Azure portal integration to visually inspect the container images. And we also can use container registry geo replication feature to distribute container images to multiple Azure data center centers. And your Azure container registry task can also build container images in Azure. Task use a standard Docker file to create and store a container image in the Azure container registry without the need for local Docker tooling. So let's deploy a container registry for the environment. So Azure container registry name should also be unique. And so that is why I'm going to do ACR underscore name equal to ACR dollar random I'm sorry here it is so I'm going to use AZ ACR create command to create the registry and it will create it in the same resource group and the region as the AKS so it will be AZ ACR create the resource group location the name and the standard size I'm going to hit enter it is done so you will also see a response similar to this JSON when the command would complete now I'm going to build the container images by using Azure container registry task. So this rating app would make the use of two container images, one for the front end website and one for the restful API web service. So our development teams use the local Docker tooling to build the container images for the website and API web service. A third container is used to deploy the document database provided by the database publisher and will not be stored the database container in ACR. And we can use ACR to build these containers using a standard Docker file to provide build instructions. With Azure Container Registry, we can reuse any Docker file currently in the environment, which includes multi-staged builds. So let us build the rating API image. The rating API is a Node.js application that's built using the Express, which is a framework from Node.js. It's a web framework. The source code is on GitHub and already includes a Docker file, which builds images based on the Node.js Alpine container image. So I'm going to clone the repository and then build the Docker image using the already included Docker file. 
and I'm going to use the built-in ACR functionality to build and push the container image into the registry. I'm going to use git clone and it is where that file is present in the github repo. So it will clone under my directory and then I'm going to change my folder location to workshop rating api i'm there and now i'm going to run ecr build this command would build a container image by using the docker file then it would push the resulting image to the container registry here it is So it builds a container image by using the Docker file present in already the GitHub repo, and then it would push that. There would I'm sorry, it would push that image to the ACR is your container registry that we created before running this command. It's installing the tools that are mentioned in that already created Docker file. Let's wait till the time it completes. All right, and if you see that I mentioned the dot at the end, so do not forget the dot at the end of the, the command because it would represent the source directory that contains the Docker file. So in my case, it was the current directory before you didn't specify the name of the file with the file parameter. So it would do this. So let me make a note of the pushed registry and name for example in my case it would be registry so if i go and copy it and i will save it on my notepad here okay and now same way i'm going to build the ratings web image the rating uh, this website front end is a node.js application that is built by using the view javascript framework and the web pack to bundle the code so as before source code is on github and already includes a docker file i'll show you the docker file in few minutes which would build an image based on the node.js Alpine image. So I'm going to exit out from this directory and I'm going to erase this command. The git repo web end. It would create a folder, then I would go to cd ms learn dash aks dash workshop dash ratings dash web directory I'm inside that I'm going to build the container image by using the Docker file using AZ ACR right, enter it would build in an image and push it to ACR let me just pause and come back and now now I now when I ran the command to check my repository list to set to check the set of images that are in that repository list I have two images container images stored in my ACR so if I go to ACR this is my Azure container registry and if I go in the repositories so this is one is ratings API one is my web API I'm sorry my web repo in this I have a v1 image this is the image that got created using the docker file I pulled from the github all right 
and now I will configure the AKS cluster to authenticate to the container registry. So we need to set up authentication between the container registry and Kubernetes cluster to allow communication between these two services. So I'm going to integrate the container registry with the AKS cluster by supplying the AKS cluster name value and the ACR name value. So I'm going to so it's az aks update command that I'll use to authenticate my Azure container registries in which I we have two images that we created using the GitHub repo. It already had container docker file to create the containerized image. So let me just run the command here. I'm going to paste this command. And if you would see that it would list the AZ AKS update, the name of my AKS cluster, then the resource group, then the Azure container registry. I'm going to run it. It'll take see a zero ready role propagation done. So it will do it and it would integrate my AKS cluster with the ACR. So what did we do? So to summarize of what we have done, we created a container registry for the application. Then we built and added container images for the ratings API and ratings web to the container registry. We then verified the container images and configured the AKS cluster to authenticate to the container registry. So next we'll take the, uh, the steps to deploy the ratings app. That is the first component that we'll deploy. And the first component would be to deploy the MongoDB as to store our document store database. And then we'll see how to use Helm package manager for Kubernetes. So if you have any doubts, please mention them in the comment section or any queries, any feedback. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day. It is still running. Let's wait and I'll pause the video and come back. It is done. Wait. So you see the JSON output as below. Perfect. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.